All right, I would like to speak about squat on this beautiful morning. So I have here is a 2005 two-wheel drive GMC Yukon. As you can see, our pop-up here has a weight distribution hitch. And don't ask me how a uh, weight distribution hitch works. It's PFM to me. But what it does is it helps distribute weight. Pulls a little bit of the tongue weight off. Helps with sway a bit. So one of the things I did, if I can get up underneath here, and I don't know if you can see it super well, but you can see those coilover shocks. Those are specifically designed to dampen <clears throat> the movement over rough roads while pulling a trailer. They are Monroe shocks, I believe. So what I do to make my life a lot easier when I am hooking the trailer up is first I hook up the uh, the hitch without the bars. So that, and I crank the trailer up, which, since it's connected to the truck, lifts the rear end of the truck, which allows me, without too much difficulty, to... I, pull the cotter pin, swing down these things that kind of look like horseshoes, and then I attach the third chain. And then should I need it, I've got a helper bar, a nice aluminum bar, this guy right here, that uh, I can help to pull those uh, horseshoe looking things up, put the cotter pin back in. Now, we hook the trailer up here to the power this here is for my emergency brake should the trailer become completely disconnected it'll pull this and because the battery is attached and turned on now it's turned off it will turn on the emergency well the brakes it's probably not going to save your trailer but uh, hopefully it'll stop the trailer and prevent it from careening all over the freeway and that, I mean, for that to happen, you'd have to have a bad day. On this hitch, you'd have to have either the whole hitch come off the truck, or you'd have to have, I don't even know how you'd have, because you've got the weight distribution bars, you've got the ball, you've got the safety chains, which are crossed there. You'd be having a very bad day should the trailer come disconnected from the truck. However, if it happens, you got to make sure you've got that battery connected and turned on, because that's how it's going to power those electromagnetic trailer brakes. So that's my setup. That's what I've got uh on our 2005 Yukon and what was at least originally our 95 Coleman pop-up.